This is my sixth opening as principal, uh, five and a half years here in the, in the district as the principal of Campbell School. So this is my 27th year of teaching. The first day of school is always exciting, always a little bit nerve-wracking, and it's like an opening, a, opening up a package you don't know what you're going to find. We're very excited to have the kids back, the staff back, the energy is back in the building. Um, it's a really great day. The weather is perfect, so we're expecting another very successful year. Just want to wish everybody a great 1920 school year. Looking forward to a great school year at Moss, and uh, good luck. I know I didn't sleep well last night, but just anticipating the uh, arrival of our new students. Uh, and I'm sure that there are others who have those like, little butterflies in their stomach as well. Uh, but once we get here and once we see our students and we see the enthusiasm in their uh, smiles and their excitement for being here, and all the nerves melt away and we're ready for a great school year. The fall is always an exciting time for us in school. First of all, obviously, it's for the because we're beginning school, and our uh, our size this year is 730. That's the largest we've been in in quite a while, 730 students. Every year it changes based upon the needs of the kids, but this year, like always, I'll be outside greeting the children and helping them find their classrooms and helping them feel more comfortable with joining us in Campbell School. Well, the first couple of days, kids are always excited to be back in school. They get to catch up with friends, get to see teachers from years past. Um, so this is kind of a, the honeymoon period. And once class is starting, the schedule gets into place. Again, um, it has a different energy, but again, the kids are the kids fall into place. The schedules are understood, and um, things just start to roll. It's like a well-oiled machine. You sometimes have to take a step back, but if you don't learn, then you're not going to help the kids. And part of learning is learning about their personalities and knowing who they are. Enjoy and take what take it as it comes. I would have to say our, our entire school community has changed over the past six years. We've gone from a school that focuses on uh, a variety of different uh, topics and different strategies to one that's focused on workshop instruction as well as uh, character education and the importance of building strong character with all students. You know, we see fifth graders coming in and they're a little apprehensive and how by even first couple months in they start to take ownership of their schedule, the building, and then you look at eighth graders who are getting ready to move to the high school. And the growth that they still make from September to June is amazing. Um, so they, they come so far academically, socially, emotionally. It's, it's a really neat age group and great span to observe. I'm looking forward to working with my wonderful staff. I'm very fortunate to have uh, three ladies assist me in the class at different times during the day. I'm looking forward to working with um, my cooperating teacher. She and I will work together to get uh, to make sure that our children, who we have in tandem, will get the best education possible. Our building is in great shape. Our custodians do a tremendous job over the summer getting it ready. Uh, we have an awesome staff, and I know they're, they're ready to get started, and many of them have already gotten started today. So we're looking forward to a terrific year. And um, we want to wish everybody uh, throughout the district best of luck and enjoyable school year. Uh, get involved. Be excited about school and know that when you're here, you're family. I'm really proud to be standing at the, uh, at the opening to our new science edition. Construction on the Science Edition began last June and uh, we were fortunate enough to have it completed for the start of school and we're going to take you through the two classrooms, the two science labs that were constructed and, um, and how we plan on using them. The, the first nice thing about all of these is that they're all air conditioned, the, the downstairs classroom as well as the one upstairs. This is a um, will be used for chemistry, 
We have the uh, peninsula tables. We have six of them that are on the sides of the, uh, of the room. And above each one of the uh, lab tables, we have a monitor. Uh, all of our students will have a uh, Chromebook and they'll be able to put their, their data up on a monitor uh, during the course of a, uh, of a lab. Th this is a great addition to um, our science labs, um, having these prep rooms. These prep rooms are good size and most importantly, there's a lot of storage cabinet space as well as counter space. Uh, in this particular prep room, we have a uh, full-size refrigerator as well as a, uh, as a dishwasher and a uh, prep sink as well as the, the hood for chemical reactions. So I'm really happy that we have the, uh, the room here that we've lacked for so many years. This is a, a huge change from our existing labs in terms of uh, the way it's been uh, constructed in that we have the area in the middle for instructional purposes and then on the outside for our labs, which you, you don't find our labs that we have in the building. So it's a, it's a welcome change.